Now that the calendar has flipped to September, fall festivals are popping up everywhere, but not many can claim something as big as Irons Mill Farmstead in Mercer County. They decided on a theme this year that has people saying, come on down. Cut into the rows and rows of corn. You wouldn't know it from down here, but once you see the bigger picture, you realize that you are wandering through an intricate image of Bob Barker. Bob Barker is a legend, right, in TV and you, you, across all demographics. Everybody, for the most part, knew who Bob Barker was in the Price is Right game show. Every year at Irons Mill Farmstead, the family owners pick a different theme to celebrate. This year, they wanted to go big. We landed on, let's give away a car, but how can we do that? He was like, we should do a game show. So then we thought, car, Price is Right. And then the wheel started spinning. We looked up Bob Barker and we're like, oh my gosh, he's gonna be 100 this year. In December, he was born in 1923. It's 2023. This is his 100th year. Like, this is back in late to, winter. We were looking at this. Yeah, this is months ago. We're like, we have to do a Bob, we have to do a, a, a Bob Barker corn maze. The planning takes months to prepare, and just a week before the farmstead was getting ready to open to the public for the season, came the news of Barker's passing. A new car. Look what we have for you, Mary. It's a brand new SUV! As the world reflected and celebrated Barker's life and legacy, the saddest part for the Milliron family is that Bob Barker passed away before being able to see the maze. The plan was once we did the reveal, then obviously send it out to some contacts out there and just maybe at least let him see it. That would have been pretty neat to, to, to yeah. you know, for him to be able to be a part of that, I guess, in a way, and see a, some farm out in, Western Pennsylvania is honoring him. So now that you've seen the impressive scale of the maze, you're wondering, just like me, how the heck do they do that? It is computer generated as far as like on a gridding system on a computer. And we do plant the corn a couple different ways um, so that it actually is like a grid pattern out there in the corn. And then we go in there once it's about four or five inches high and we go through and we, we, we cut the maze, the paths in. When you see what they're able to do here, it seems like this family was born to be farmers. We're not farmers. We have no idea what we're doing. Um, I mean, I barely mow grass. I actually don't mow grass. <laughs> Rob mows a lot though. That's true. If anything, I, I, I gained a tremendous amount of respect for what they do and appreciation for farming in general. The family pivoted from running a farm after they bought it in 2009 to running a business that centered around something they love, family. Instead of uh, growing animals and raising animals, we, we grew children and, uh, and thought of a, a business that we could start on the farm. We have six, six kids. We moved to the farm with two originally. And so this whole time we've been building the business, we've been having kids along the way. And with kids in mind, a day at the farm will keep you busy. It's an all day. Don't, don't come here thinking you're only gonna spend an hour or two. It's, it's gonna, if you wanna do it all, it's gonna take four or five. With a chunk of that spent getting lost in the mind and jawline of the legend, Bob Barker. It is so cool to see, and there really is a lot to do with the farm. We're going to have a link to their page so you can get tickets. They even offer season passes. It's all at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.